the Leslie's favorite day of the week. <laughs> in the neighborhood. Linwood, you're up. So are we. George Pinocchio grew up there, and we're going to check in with him in just a bit. <laughs> there he is, even with the vest. Good morning to you right now, 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm Bill Palmer. And I'm Leslie Sykes. He's got the casual vest on yeah. today. The casual True. vest. Morning. In the neighborhood vest. <laughs> yes. Today, so that means we're in the neighborhood, and today we're all about Linwood. That is where Eyewitness News reporter George Pinocchio grew up. Take a look at his story. I loved singing that school song when I was a kid, and today I'm a kid again, going back to Mark Twain Elementary School with my memories in hand. That's us there together. That's us together in first grade, yeah. Your main fashion characteristic is it, as a small human child was, um, <laughs> was a vest. Kurt Benvenick was my very first friend at school, and we remain friends today. I do remember you and I did quite a bit together, um, riding bikes, wandering um, into bowling alleys. I'm positively sure that you and I were dropped off at the, the Arden Theater. I think we intended to, to watch Gone with the Wind. I just remember um, running around in the, the red velvet seats and spilling coke and throwing popcorn. Kurt joined me for the tour of our old stomping grounds, now clearly focused on long-term education. We emphasize the importance of developing goals. Mark Twain stands for college career readiness, preparing our, our students for the future. I tried to relive my playground past. Ouch! Not far away, we stopped by St. Philip Neri, where I made my first Holy Communion. A trip back to Linwood certainly would not be complete without visiting Chico's Pizza. <laughs> It's still good. I saved my merit certificates for student council, the safety committee, and spelling bee finalist. And then there was my sports career. Linwood Park is where I played Little League as a child. I was on the cards. And when it comes to hitting, I was awful. I was much better at being a bat boy for my brother Monty's team. I was also in Linwood Children's Theater, now part of Linwood's history. We thought we'd get a take on Linwood today by visiting JJ's Barbershop. And I got a haircut in the process. This is Linwood, this is us. We got new restaurants around here, new businesses, but everything is still warm. It's still the same Linwood it's always been. And maybe this is fate. George wants to be in show business. He's a musician. And hopefully, yeah, man, my, my career takes me up one day. And I, I'll be another pride of Linwood, no? So All neat. right, that is George Polito, who gave me that haircut oh. you saw in my story from Los Nuevos Mayores. Tell me the guys in your band. Let's introduce them. That's uh, Lionel. He's my bass player, my accordion player, Steven, and my drummer, Tony. And where can we find your music? You can find us on Instagram, YouTube, at Los Nuevos Mayores on YouTube and on Instagram. It's the same name, both of them. And the truth is, George told me that you can also find them rehearsing at JJ's Barbershop in Linwood. Now, our fun here, you can see, is far from over here in Linwood. And we'll be back with more live reports as Eyewitness News this morning continues. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Oh. Another pride of Linwood. The entertainment guru gave him a break on television. We love it. George, um, George was wearing a vest way back then. I had no idea. Didn't either. <laughs> this is like as persona. This yeah. is not a persona. This is him. Yeah. This is core. Yeah. This, this is, is George. Core. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay. It. Look who's here with me in the neighborhood in Linwood. It's the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. They're the folks who patrol the streets here to keep this community safe. But they're not the only ones here. Check it out over here. Members of the community here enjoying themselves on this special day in the neighborhood. Coming up next, we're going to talk with the mayor and a couple of kid mayors that make Linwood a great place to be. Stay with us. In the neighborhood, it's one of the best parts of our Wednesday, and today we're all about the city of Linwood. It's where Eyewitness News reporter the entertainment guru, George Pinocchio, grew up, and he's there live with us this morning. Hey, George. 
Well, good morning, Philip Leslie. You know, right now I'm going to be a political reporter because <laughs> we've got the mayor of Linwood here right now, Jose Luis Delache. Tell me, Mayor, all these people devoted, there's all this unity here. What makes Linwood a great city today? George, we're just very excited to have you first of all here in our city of Linwood. Linwood's a great community. We're a hardworking community. And we're just excited to have our students. We're, we're thriving. We're doing great. There's 90 percentile graduation rates in Linwood High School at Firewall High School. We're doing good. And our hardworking community, this is a result of a strong community. But it sounds like you're looking at those statistics, making them better every year. Absolutely, and our students are proving that every single day by going to great schools and just outperforming what we, we thought they were going to do. So they're, they're awesome Linwood students. You're also doing something pretty interesting here. They have a kid mayor program, and joining us now are two of those kid mayors, Miguel Gonzalez and Crystal Vo. Mayor, how are they as kid mayors? You know, we talked about our students. Well, this is where it starts, the foundation. And Crystal and Miguel are, are, are exactly the students that we need to promote. So that we, they become role models and they are becoming our ambassadors to the city of Linwood. And what better way than to share the mayorship with our youth and our kids? Very good. And very quickly, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, when I grow up, I want to pursue my dreams as a pediatrician because <laughs> I love kids. <laughs> That's awesome. And what about you, Miguel? A uh, computer scientist. Okay, very good. There are some lofty goals here in Linwood, and I'm glad to hear it. We've got more community news coming up for you just a little bit later on Eyewitness News this morning, and you're going to see what makes this town just super. Live in Linwood, George Pinocchio, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you. Can I adopt those kids? Can I adopt them? That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. Linwood is awesome. Awesome. That's great. I love George. Oh, so okay. I love George. He's having too. a good time out there. Uh -huh. um, those kids are amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty incredible. So that's an easy parenting. Uh. <laughs> right. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Yes, it's Wednesday. And yes, we are back in the neighborhood this morning. And today we're checking out the hometown of our entertainment guru, George Pinocchio. He's live in Linwood. Hey, George. Well, good morning. We are here with Mark Flores, who's with Linwood Parks and Rec, and a lot of the kids who are involved in the program here. There's a lot of kids who really get a lot of good stuff in their lives because of this programs that you these programs you're involved in, right? Yes, absolutely. Every year the city of Linwood serves over 5,000 young men and women in our youth sports programs. 750,000 people come through our park systems and our programs every year. We're very proud of the things that we offer for our community. If you were up a little earlier, you may have seen my report when I was growing up in Linwood and I showed you my baseball career because I was horrible, <laughs> but I tried. A lot of these kids might not be hitting the major leagues, but what does does it give them beyond sports? And that's what it's all about. We focus uh, today, uh, youth sports has gone to very competitive bases, but we try to keep that recreation feel to it so the kids have a great experience uh, in a variety of programs. We encourage them to try other sports so they learn for themselves what they like and not what the parents sometimes necessarily uh, uh, enforce on the kids. Uh, so we try to offer them all types of opportunities for them. And, and you mentioned parents, but you have programs for adults in the Parks and Recreation Department as well, right? Absolutely, yes. We have over a thousand adult sport com uh, competitors in our community in uh, softball, kickball, basketball. Uh, so we try to offer something for everybody. You have a job that just is all positivity, isn't it? I love my job. It's a, <laughs> I don't want anyone to take it. I'm outdoors all the time, working with great, awesome people, young men, young women. Uh, we offer something from toddlers all the way to 100 year, uh, 100 year olds. What I'm really impressed right now, all these kids here have lofty goals about what they want to do when they grow up. So I'm going to just go down this road yeah. real quick to yeah. see until we run out of time. Uh -huh. What do you want to be when you're all grown up? You're almost grown up. Uh, a detective. A detective? A lawyer. Wow. Film industry. Okay. A dancer. Professional baseball player. A professional baseball player. I knew that was coming. A paleontologist. Oh, wow. A CEO. A lawyer. A doctor. Teacher. A professional saxophone player. A registered nurse. Awesome. I play the saxophone. I was bad at that, too. <laughs> well, isn't that great to hear all these really cool, big goals from all these kids who know that they're going to make it one day when they get old enough to enter this world. So I'm going to send it back to you, but I'm coming back because we're going to spend more time in the neighborhood, in Linwood, right here with all of these fine folks. So now I'm sending it back to you in the studio. All right. Very good. You had big dreams. We believe that they'll do it. You know, I, believe, I like the decisiveness of it. Yes, there right. There wasn't a bunch of, uh, yeah, right. they knew what they wanted to do, mm -hmm. and that's great. And one day, George said in Linwood that he wanted to be the entertainment guru. And look at, and there he is, our there entertainment is. guru. So good something. morning. Yeah, it's really fantastic. 
I'm George Pinocchio, live in the neighborhood in Linwood, and right now we are talking about art in this community. The Linwood Union Gallery is a nonprofit. You can get a lot of historical photos. The president of the gallery is here, the art director is here, and the art director brought some of his students' works. So this is all on display at the Linwood Union Gallery. And you can take lessons here if you want to learn how to draw and paint yourself. All ages welcome. And we'll be back with more excitement from Linwood, California, coming up. So stay right here on ABC7. Music is a sign that we're back in the neighborhood this morning. We're in Linwood. And it's where our entertainment guru, George Pinocchio, grew up. He is live at Plaza Mexico. Hey, George. Hey, I'm going to show you a little round robin of what we've been doing all day. Los. <laughs> this is the band we've been having all day. Las Mujeres. They've been fantastic. We've been enjoying them. We have the Linwood High Band, and we have the cheerleaders here from Linwood High all doing very well. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. All right. Now we have another high school. Oh, very good. And here's Fireball. The cheerleaders there. Probably a couple hundred people out here all enjoying the day. We have a, oh, La Huateca, who supplied some food, one of the restaurants here at Plaza Mexico. We've had so many people here. We were here when it was dark. It is now getting light out. We have a special guest who is steps away from us. We might not make it, so who knows? We may have to come back for another segment just because it's a good name. So I'm going to send it back right now to the station. And I'm going to let them all say goodbye for me. And say thanks to everybody for us. George is in good company out there. That is true. You know. Uh, you know, our In the Neighborhood series continues. George Pinocchio told us special guest. Mm -hmm. He delivers. Let's What's see. up, George? Let's see. <laughs> hey, he is a boxing legend. He is a Linwood legend. He is Sugar Shane Mosley, who is here just to support Linwood. It's really great for you to come out here. Thank you for having me. This, this is great. Being here and seeing all these uh, kids, uh, this is great. All these kids have dreams to be doing great things in the next several years. What's your message to all these kids here? Stay in school. Stay in school. Keep learning. <laughs> And, um, you know, one day you can, you can be uh, a champion. And you've been a champion. What will you do next? What can you tell us you're doing right now that we need to know? <laughs> well, right now I'm not. I'm just I'm retired now. <laughs> I'm, I'm retired now. My son is doing his thing. He's, he's, yeah, he's boxing and um, so professionally. So, All right. yeah. Well, you've earned the right to retire. We are retiring here from Linwood. Thank you, Sugar Shane Mosley. Thank you, Linwood. Back to you in the studio. Yeah. He was right. He had a special George guest. George came through. Sugar Shane came through. All for Linwood. We love it. That's awesome. You know.